In this episode, we're going to focus on creating a custom resource for InSpec to manage a configuration file. It becomes necessary sometimes to make your own resources to help you describe your infrastructure, your platform better. So let's get started. Here, we're going to use a Docker Compose file as an example configuration file that we'd like to map to a new InSpec resource. I'm going to create a new profile called Docker Workstations. And within that Docker Workstations profile, I'm going to define a control. A control that's going to use an existing resource inside of InSpec called YAML. The YAML resource requires us to specify a path, the path of the file that we are going to load. It then requires us to specify the series of keys to get to that information that we're interested in. And here I'm going to traverse the tree of keys, services, workstation, and then image to find our image value. Then I'm going to do the same thing to make sure that we're mounting the correct paths inside of our Docker container to the current working directory on our local workstation. I'm going to run a scan targeting my local workstation and I'll see that everything passes correctly. We're going to define a resource that does not yet exist called docker compose config. It's going to take a path as a parameter. Then we are going to make some assertions about its properties. Here we're going to use its services.workstation.image should match our expected image for our workstation. And again, we're going to look at the volumes as well. I'm going to return back to our terminal and execute a scan. We're going to see a stack trace. This is going to tell us that the docker compose config method does not yet exist because we have not defined this custom resource. Let's return back to our profile. We're going to open up our file tree and then in the libraries directory, I'm going to create a docker compose config.rb file to contain the resource that we're going to write. I'm going to place some header information at the top of the file. And then I'm going to define a Ruby class. This Ruby class is going to be called docker compose config. I'm going to make it a subclass of the inspect.resource method one. I'm going to give the name to the resource. So that's the only required additional metadata that needs to be described on our docker compose config. I'm going to save this file and then return to the command prompt and execute a scan. When I run this, I see that I've given it a wrong number of arguments. It says I was given one, but I was uh, expected zero. This is because every class inside of Ruby requires that if you give it a parameter, the initialize method needs to be defined to accept that parameter. So here I'm going to execute it again, but I've defined the initialize method incorrectly. It's incorrectly named, so I'm going to redefine the initialize method here, and I'm going to spell it correctly. And now I'm going to execute a scan. When I run this, I'm going to see that I no longer get a stack trace, but instead I'm told that the docker compose config object or resource does not have the services method. So I'm going to define a services method inside of the class. I'm not going to provide any information that returns back. I'm just going to define the method, save the file, run it, and see that it fails. This time telling me that a nil value is being returned. So I'm now going to use an existing inspect resource to parse the path file or the content of that path file. Here I'm going to define an instance variable called YAML and I'm going to store within that the inspect.yaml. This is a way for us to use existing resources within our custom resource. I'm going to give that YAML resource a path and then I'm going to return that YAML object in our services method. You see, it parses it correctly, but now is returning a hash. So what I need to do is convert the hash into an object that appears like other objects that I can use the dot notation between. So I'm going to wrap that hash in a hashy mash. A hashy mash is a quick way for us to convert a hash into what appears to be a Ruby object with a number of methods attached to it. We see everything passing, and now I have successfully created a Docker Compose config object that's able to read it correctly and at least provide the services method. If you'd like to learn more about InSpec, check out other videos in this series, our documentation, or tutorials online.